Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. It's opening weekend coming up at the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club. It doesn't get much more exciting for this in Southern California racing. We have three solid cards on tap, and what a great couple of months it will be out here on the West Coast. Hopefully the Pacific Classic shapes up and we get the race of the year with California Chrome and Beholder. We'll cross our fingers, but first things first. We couldn't be more excited to be back on the turf for two graded stakes events this weekend. On Saturday, you have the Yellow Ribbon, and on Sunday, you have our topic for today, the Grade 2 Eddie Reed at a mile and an eighth over the Jimmy Durante turf course. A nice field of nine is assembled, led by Shoemaker Mile winner Midnight Storm. The Phil D'Amato trainee ran incredible last time out in the Shoemaker, and will look to remain very strong at Del Mar, three for four coming in. He is certainly the one to beat. I wonder if he'll regress, and I wonder if the mile and an eighth will be an issue, but it's tough to toss number five, Midnight Storm. Number nine, Bolo, returns from Kentucky and has taken some time off for trainer Carla Gaines. Three back, Bolo put forth one of the fastest efforts of the year on the grass, and then two back, ran second, and then from there went to Churchill Downs and did not fire at all. It was. It'll be interesting to see if Carla Gaines and the rest have gotten this horse back to her, his best form. I don't know what I think. It's a tough call on Bolo. Mike Smith aboard, draws the outside. I'm a little concerned about being wide throughout with Bolo, but the horse has talent, and if he can run back to those races at Santa Anita earlier this year, he certainly should be there at the wire. While those two are very much in logical runners, I am going to side with number seven, Ohio, as my top pick. This Paulo Lobo trainee, Brazilian bred, Brees Blanc aboard, has been on the turf two, in two of three starts since arriving in the States. The other was a wash-off race, so you can cross that one out. Both of those races were eye-popping good. They were at a mile and against Lesser, but I've been waiting for Ohio to come back. It's a really good sign that Paulo Lobo decides to opt for the grade two Eddie Reed instead of the $75,000 wicker stakes, which he was cross-centered in on Saturday. I am going to take a shot in this one on the class hike with number seven, Ohio. He should be a price. I'm going to bet him the win, and I'm going to box him with the two horses I formerly mentioned, Bolo and also Midnight Storm. Also, I'm going to give a slight look to number one, Ashley Love Sugar. Obviously, at a mile last time out, this horse was prepping off the bench. I wonder if this is the spot that Peter Yurton is searching for or whether it might be the Del Mar handicap at a little further distance later on in the meet. Either way, Ashley Love Sugar should be able to at least make a run at the trifecta in this one and is worth using underneath. There are a few in here that I have questions about that might take some money. First off, number two, Flamboyant. Flamboyant ran great in the winter at Santa Anita, but that was over a different type of turf course. As we know, that course had issues. It was labeled as good, despite not a lot of rain for a couple weeks. I think Flamboyant thrived on a course that many others did not take to. Yes, Flavian Prada is appealing, and yes, it was encouraging to see how they thought of this one sending him overseas to Dubai, but I'm going to pass on number two Flamboyant. I'm also going to pass, like many, on Finnegan's Wake in this spot. Despite the win last time out against Lester, I don't think Finnegan's Wake is back in form. I think this horse has seen better days, and I don't see the closing kick coming from Finnegan's Wake, even if they go too fast up front. The horse that I had trouble making a case for as well, but a little bit of a wild card, is Sea Sage. This horse ran a hole in the win last time out at Santa Anita. What an effort that was. I just don't know if he can put forth that effort again, especially over a different turf course. He's not had success at Del Mar. He's over 4, never hit the board, and he hasn't succeeded at this distance. I'm going to pass, but I'm interested to see how C. Sage runs on Sunday. So there you have it. The Grade 2 Eddie Reed, Sunday's feature, the ninth race on a 10-race card. Should be a great weekend at Del Mar. Let's get things started. We'll be back next week. The San Diego, California Chrome. It should be popping there at Del Mar next Saturday. But let's get things started right this weekend on the grass and the graded stakes. Let's get Ohio home. Have a good one.